Hello mga ka 3M! Welcome back to my channel. And today I will discuss about uh, hypothesis testing. I will give you different problems to be solved using null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. And you will know how to reject or accept those hypotheses and then interpret the result. Okay, so this is my first example. A cigarette manufacturer claims that the average nicotine content of their cigarette does not exceed 3.4 mg. A random sample of 10 cigarettes was taken and found out to have an average nicotine content of 4.5 mg with standard deviation of 1.5 mg. Are going to accept the manufacturer's claim at 0.01 level of significance. Okay, so how are we going to solve this problem? First, you should know the given. What are the given? So you have here uh, does not exceed 3.4 milligram. That means uh, the value is less than or equal that means your value will not uh, higher than 3.4 not higher than means less than or equal so you have here your null hypothesis as mu is equal to or is less than or equal to 3.4 milligram. Okay. Since your alternative hypothesis should oppose your null hypothesis, so ano, ano ang kabaliktaran nito? So that will be mu is greater than 3.4 milligram. Okay, this will be your uh, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. Now, what are the other given? So, you have here, so our given is you have 3.4 as your population mean or the mu. So you have here mu is equal to 3.4. And then your sample n is 10. So your n is 10. And you have the sample mean which is 4.5, taken from the 10 cigarettes. So you that will be your sample mean. Okay. And aside from that, you have the standard deviation. So you have S is equal to 1.5. Okay, and then this 0 0.01 level of significance, that will be your reference in the table. Look for 0 0.01 in the table of the uh, particular test. If it is Z-test or T-test. Later on, you will know what kind of test are we going to use. Okay, so our level of significance is... 0 0.01 Okay, so these are the given. So, based on the problem, you will use t-test. Why? Because your sample is very small. You have just 10 samples. 
So if it is greater than 30, you will use Z-test. Since this is just 10, you will use T-test. And the formula for T-test that you're going to use is T is equal to sample mean minus population mean times the square root of your sample and then divided by your standard deviation. So this will be your formula for t-test. Okay, so let's substitute all the given. So you have t is equal to uh, 4.5 you have your sample mean 4.5 minus the population mean which is 3.4 then you will multiply that to square root of your n and your n is 10 divided by 1.5 so that will be the substitution of all the given that you have. Then we will solve. So you have T is equal to uh, 4.5 minus 3.4 is 1.1 times the square root of 10. So 1.1 times the square root of 10 divided by 1.5. Okay, you will just use your calculator to solve this uh, expression. So, your t value is 2.319. So, that will be the uh, t value came from the formula that you use. Okay, now... You will compare this T value in the uh, critical value based on this level of significance. Where you can get that? You will just need a table. Just look for the table, uh, T-test table, and then look for the column 0 0.01. And that will be your critical value is 2.01. So, your critical value is equal to 2.821. Now, compare the T value and the critical value. So, through comparing, you will know that the T value is less than the critical value. So, your interpretation here is T is less than the critical value. So, your T value is less than the critical value. If it is less than, uh, you cannot reject the null hypothesis. If it is greater than, you can reject. So, based on the comparison of the values of T and the critical value, you need to accept the null hypothesis. You cannot reject. Accept the null hypothesis and then reject the alternative hypothesis. So, accept HO and then reject H A or H one. It can be H A or H one. So since we rejected the H one and accept the null hypothesis, if you're going to accept this. That means 
you're going to accept the claim of the manufacturer. That will be your conclusion. Because their claim is, does not exceed. So this will be your symbol. It does not exceed 3.4. And then you accepted this null hypothesis. Therefore, your conclusion is, uh, the claim of the manufacturer is true. You need to accept the claim of the manufacturer. If you have questions, just put your comment below this video. And then we will now proceed to the second que uh, problem. Okay, this is now your second example to be solved. So our problem is a manufacturer packs sugar into plastic bag. Each pack is to hold 5 kilos. When the production is under control, each bag contains on the average 5 kilos. At one period, a sample of 17 bags was taken to check the process and was found to weigh 5.6 kilos with a standard deviation of 0.75 kilos. Is the manufacturing process under control? So that will be your uh, process. Use 0.01 level of significance. Okay, again, we will create null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. So our null hypothesis is equal to 5 kilos. Because that's the claim. The average of uh, weight of each bag is 5 kilos. So it is, it is equal to 5 kilos. So you have null hypothesis. Mu or the population mean is equal to 5 kilos. So how are you going to negate the equal 5 kilos. So you, you will negate that into uh, not equal 5 kilos. So our HA is mu is not equal to 5 kilos. Okay, so this will be our uh, null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. So aside from knowing this hypothesis, you will know all the given that you have in this problem. So first, we have population mean, which is 5 Sample mean, we have 5.6. So this is your sample mean based on the 17 bags that you, uh, that the manufacturer, uh, that was checked. Okay? So you have N is equal to 17. And your standard deviation is 0. 75 kilos and then your level of significance to be used in the table is 0 0.01 okay again your sample is very small your n is just 17 so we will just use t test so our t is Or can our T can be solved using this formula? Sample mean minus population mean times the square root of your number of sample divided by your standard deviation. So let's substitute all the given that you have here. So your T value is equal to 
5.6 minus 5. So you have 5.6, sample mean minus 5. Population mean. Times the square root of your n, which is 17, divided by 0 0.75. So your t here is 5.6 minus 5 is 0 0.6. 0 0.6 times the square root of 17 divided by 0 0.75. So what is our uh, t value? So our t value is use your calculator to solve the t value. So you have t is equal to 3.75. 2985. So that will be your T value. So where do you need to compare this T value? Again, look for the table at the column 0 0.01. So what is that value? The same thing with the first uh, critical value that we have in the first problem. So, our critical value is 2.821. So, that will be the critical value that we need, we need to compare in our T value. So, compare the two. So, 3.2985 versus 2.821, which is greater? Of course, uh, the T value is greater than the critical value. So, T is greater than the critical value. So, if that is your result, therefore, you can reject the null hypothesis so reject the null hypothesis okay if you reject the null hypothesis you will accept the alternative hypothesis or the HA so we have to accept Accept HA. Okay, so what will be our conclusion now? Since we rejected the null hypothesis and accepted the alternative hypothesis. So, that means to say, the manufacturing process is not, it is not equal. You accepted this alternative hypothesis. So, therefore, you need to negate the claim. The claim of the manufacturer is false. So, the manufacturing process is not under control. They did not control the process. So, that will be your conclusion. Okay, I hope uh, you learn something new to this lesson. And then, if you have questions, that put just put your comment below this video. And then, don't forget to like and subscribe for more uh, videos to come. And then, click the notification bell for you to be updated in all the videos that I uploaded. Thank you very much mga Ka3M. And that will be the end of this discussion. Bye!